Hello everyone, welcome to IIT MBSC online degree program. In this DBMS tutorial video, we will discuss about the magnetic disk. Let's give me a short introduction about magnetic disk. What is magnetic disk? So magnetic disk is a storage device that uses read the data from and write the data to the disk. Recently, magnetic disk provide a bulk secondary storage for modern computer system. Okay, now we'll look at the simplified diagram of the magnetic disk. Okay, this is the simplified diagram of the magnetic disk. So magnetic disk is a consist of the several platers. So these are the platter. So each platter is a flat and the circular shape. Like, and the, on the top of the surface is covered with the magnetic and this is a used for the storing information. Right. So these platter are mounted on a spindle like this. When disk is a used, so it will spin at a constant speed. These are the read write head. And the read write head is used to read the data and the write the information by positioning it above the surface of the platter. Okay. So each surface has its own read write head. You can see. Okay. And this read write head are mounted on a arm assembly. So this is the arm assembly. Okay. So now we look at the top view of the magnetic disk. So from the top, disk is look like this, circular shape, and this is the spindle. So each disk is logically divided as into tracks, right? So these are known as tracks, and each track is further divided into sector. So in magnetic disk, this is known as the sector. So sector is the smallest unit of information that can be read or written to the disk. Generally sector size is 512 byte. Okay. How to read the information from the surface of the platter by using the read write so this is the read write head so read write head is placed over the surface of the disk so when read write head is moves across the platter to access the different tracks so it moves inward and the outward okay so this is every platter has the its different read write head right So though every read write head is mounted on a single arm assembly, so it all the read write head is moved together. If this particular read write head is the ith track, then all other read write head is also on the ith track of the platter. So this is known as the This is the ith track. So this is known as the ith cylinder of the disk. Up to this is clear to you. Now we will discuss about the performance measure of the magnetic disk. So there are four main measures of the qualities of the magnetic disk. First is the capacity. So capacity is the size of the disk and how much that particular disk can store. That is known as the capacity. Now second qualities is access time. So access time is the time from read or write request issued to the start of the data transfer. That is access time so access time has the two component one is the seek time and another is the rotational latency so what is the seek time 
Seek time is the position the arm over the correct track. Now third qualities of the disk is data transfer rate. That is the rate at which data can be retrieved from or stored to the disk. This is the final qualities of the disk. That is the mean time to failure. And this is also known as the reliability of the disk. That is the average time the disk is expected to run continuously without any failure. So now we will see some numerical about the magnetic disk. So this is the first numerical problem statement is Consider a disc with 5 double sided plater and the 50 tracks per surface, 32 sectors per track and 64 bytes per sector. The question is find the capacity of the disc and the number of cylinder that the disc has. So first we will see what is given to you. That is number of letters. That is 5 numbers of tracks for surface that is 50 number of sectors per track is 32 and sector size is given Sixty four bytes. Okay. So now we can calculate total number of surface. So five letters are double surface, then total numbers of surface. Okay. Total number of surface is five into two, that is ten. Then total number of tracks is 50 into 10 that is 500 then total number of sectors is 500 into 32 that is 16,000 and now the capacity of the disk is if we multiply total numbers of sectors into sector size then we get the capacity of the disk that is 16,000 into 64 bytes okay that is a pro one zero two four triple zero bytes and one thing you know that one kb equal to one zero two four bytes so we can write the size of the disk equal to thousand kb okay now the second question is number of cylinder that the disk has so you know that's the numbers of cylinder number of cylinders equal to number of tracks per surface that is 50 so now you have to check which of the correct option so capacity of the disk is 1000 kb and the number of cylinder equal to 50 okay so this is the correct option now move to the second problem so the problem statement is average seek time of the disk read write head is s millisecond and the average rotational latency is r millisecond then what is the access time of the disk read write head so given that Average seek time. Average seek time is S millisecond 
and okay. average rotational latency r millisecond so now you have to find the excess time so you know that's the excess time equal to seek time plus rotational latency okay so that is s millisecond plus r millisecond so s plus r millisecond okay now we head to the third problem so third problem is consider a magnetic disk with rotational speed 30000 rpm and the disk has the 200 sectors per track and the sector size is 512 bytes then what is the transfer rate of the disk okay so first we have write what is the given and so the given sector size is 5 rotational bytes. speed okay. so rotational speed is 30000 rpm number of sectors But tracks is two hundred and sector size is so now you have to find the time taken to complete one rotation that is time period. Okay. So how to find the time rotation? So inverse of this 30000 so that is 1 minute okay. 1 minute equal to 60 second divided 30000 so that is 2 by 1000 second that is 2 millisecond so now we get so the time period is 2 millisecond so now it is given the numbers of sector per tracks is 200 and the sector size is 5 1200 then we can find how much data in one track so how to find the how much data in one track so this is in one track it contains the 200 sector and each sector size is 512 then if we multiply 200 into 512 bytes then we get the how much data in one track so that is 1024 bytes and we know that the 1 KB or kilobytes equal to 1024 bytes. Okay, so we can write 100 KB. Now you have to find the data transfer rate. data transfer rate so data of transfer rate is how much data in one track divided by time period okay so how much data in one track divided by time period so that is 
हंड्रेड के बी डिवाइडेड बाई टू मिली सेकेंड ओके सो दैट इज फिफ्टी के बी पर मिली सेकेंड सो दैट इज द ट्रांसफर रेट ऑफ द डिस्क ओके आई होप यू गेट द आइडिया अबाउट द मैग्नेटिक डिस्क एंड हाउ टू सॉल्व द न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू मैग्नेटिक डिस्क ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू एवरी वन